हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द ऑनलाइन वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ कंप्यूटर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड आर्किटेक्चर कोर्स टूडेज टॉपिक फॉर डिस्कशन इज बुथ मल्टीप्लीकेशन स्कीम इन द लास्ट सेशन वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड साइन एक्सटेंशन मल्टीप्लीकेशन मैकेनिकम सो लेट एस गो फॉर बुथ मल्टीप्लीकेशन स्कीम अंडर दिस टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस two examples the let us go for the examples in the very first example i have taken multiplicand as minus 13 and multiplier as 11 there are three simple states of both multiplication let us discuss one by one In the step one, you have to append zero to the right of least significant bit of multiplier. In our example, the multiplier is eleven. Binary representation of multiplier is one zero one one. I have represented eleven by using five bits, so extra one bit is added. so after appending one bit to the right of the left significant bit the multiplier is of now 6 bit very simple let us go for the next step in the second step you have to create recorded multiplier for that you have to follow the simple two steps first you have to make the pair of two bits starting from left significant bit of multiplier okay and in the second step you have to actually create the recorded multiplier but with the help of recording table recording table here you can see the recording table okay so let us try to make the pairs in our multiplier you have to start with left significant bit so this would be the pair 1 this would be the pair 2 the next pair is pair 3 pair 4 and finally we can consider the pair 5 now you have to create the recorded multiplier with the help of this recording table you have to see the bits from right to left this bit is considered as a i i minus 1 bit for understanding purpose and this bit is considered as a i bit so in the first pair 0 1 0 for this i have to take minus 1 as a recording bit so i had i have taken minus 1 here for subsequent pairs for 1 1 since the second pair i have to consider zero so very simple here i have taken zero bit for 1 0 1 0 1 0 here i am taking plus 1 so plus 1 is written here and subsequently i have finished with all the recording bits now this will be the would be the recorded multiplier now let us go for the next step in the next step you have to uh, actually do the multiplication but you have to simply understand one rule rule is very simple so when i when i multiply Minus one to the multiplicand. I must have to take two's complement of multiplicand as a partial product. So here I have already calculated two's complement of multiplicand. In our case, multiplicand is one zero zero one one. So 
how to calculate the two's complement it is very simple you have to first take the one's complement so one is represented as zero one is represented as zero so zero is converted as a one one and zero you have to simply complement the bits and you have to add one to the left significant bit of one's complement so zero plus one is one remaining bits are written as it is so this is the two's complement of multiplicand now let us go for the multiplication in the multiplication multiplicand is minus 13 the binary representation is written here and here you have to use the recorded multiplier so the very first bit is minus 1 so whenever i multiply by minus 1 i must have to take the two's complement of multiplicand which is already calculated here so I, I, have, I have directly written this two's complement and now the remaining bits are to be taken as a zero because our, our product must include 10 bits because multiplier is of 5 bits. So I have to simply extend this most significant bit 5 times. Okay. Next. So the next multiplier bit is 0. So if you multiply the 0, ultimately the product becomes 0. So I have to write 5 times 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And remaining bits are again filled with 0 because most significant bit is 0. This is a sign extension, I would say. Next, iteration you have to multiply with plus 1 and if I multiply with plus 1 I have to simply write it down the multiplicand as it is because here 1 1 0 0 and 1 and the remaining 3 bits are again filled with sign extension so 1 is extended 3 times and again in the next iteration next iteration the multiplier bit is plus minus 1. Here I have to take the 2's complement form of multiplicand which is already calculated here. Directly I have written here and remaining these 2 bits are again extended with sign extension. Okay. And now last iteration is last iteration multiplier bit is plus 1. Here you have to directly take the multiplicand as it is. And the last bit is again extended with most significant bit. Okay. Now we, we have done it. Simply now addition is, uh, addition is to be done. In the first column only single bit is there. So directly I had written 1. 0 plus 0 is again 0. 1 plus 1 is 0. And here the carry generated as a 1. So 1, 1, 1, 1. So 4 times 1 is there. So 4 times 1 means in binary I can write it down 1, 0, 0. So this 0 is to be taken as a sum and remaining 2 bits are taken as a carry for subsequent column. Okay, fine. So 0 plus 1 is 1. And now again 1 plus 1 plus 1 which is again 3. So in binary I can write it down 1 1. So this one is to be taken as a sum and this one is to be taken as a carry. So here carry generated as a 1. So 1 plus 1 plus 1 again 3 times 1. So 3. So again 1 1. 1 plus 1 0 carry 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 3. Again carry generated as a 1. 1 plus 1 plus 1 3. And now whatever the carry is generated this carry is now discarded because our product is of only 10 bits okay now let us go for the next example in the next example i have considered plus 13 as a multiplicand and uh, minus 6 as a multiplier. 
so very first step is to append 0 to the right of the left significant bit of multiplier so the binary representation of uh, minus 6 is 11010 here 5 bits are to be taken for the representation and yes I have to attach the append the 0 now it becomes 6 bit in the next step I have to create the reco uh, recorded multiplier first I have to make the pair of 2 bits starting from left significant bit and then by using this both multiplier recording table I have to create the recorded multiplier so this would be the pair 1 pair 2 pair 3 pair 4 and pair 5 look at the table this would be the my i minus 1 bit and this would be the i bit from right to left 0 0 I must have to consider 0 as a recorded bit 0 1 for this 0 1 I have to consider minus 1 as a recorded bit from 1 to 0 this pair I have to consider plus 1 and subsequently I can write it down the remaining pairs so this would be the recorded multiplier the next step is to do the actual multiplication it is again very simple in the previous example we discussed in detail let me do the multiplication ok fine ok so one rule you have to always remember whenever I multiply by minus 1 I must have to take the 2's complement of multiplicand as a partial product so already I have calculated 2's complement of multiplicand in our example multiplicand is plus 13 so first I have to take 1's complement 1's complement is very simple it is a invert operation One, if there is a 1 bit I have to take 0 if there is a 0 bit I have to take 1 and I have to add 1 to the least significant bit of 1's complement. So after adding, I am getting 2's complement of multiplicand as this particular binary pattern. The next step is to multipl multiply 13 by minus 6. So very first bit of multiplier is 0. When I multiply by 0, obviously I am getting 5 times 0. And remaining bits are, as we already discussed in the previous example, are extended with 0. Very simple. Next bit is minus 1. Here I have to consider the 2's complement of multiplicand, which is 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. And the remaining bits are again extended with 1. So in this way, we can... Uh, make the addition now 0 1 1 plus 1 0 and the carry generated as a 1 1 plus 1 0 carry generated as a 1 so 1 plus 1 plus 1 it is 3 times 1 3 times 1 means in binary I can write it down 1 1 so one single one is written here and next bit is to be taken as a carry 1 plus 1 plus 1 again 1 3 times 1 so 1 carry will be generated as a 1, 1 plus 1 0 carry generated as a 1, 1 plus 1 plus 1 carry generated as again 1, 1 plus 1 plus 1 carry generated as again 1, 1 plus 1 plus 1 and the carry generated as a 1 which is to be discarded. So this would be the 2's complement form of minus 7. You can also, you can you can cross check by converting this particular number minus 78 into a binary form using 2's complement. Now let us try to discuss the various multipliers see we are, we are taking uh, three different uh, codes 
three different multipliers and now we are going to learn the efficiency of both multiplication so this is a worst case scenario here if you observe we are getting minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 so ultimately whenever I multiply with minus 1 I have to add 2's complement of multiplication so it takes time so obviously if I am getting minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 ultimately the efficiency would be is reduced and in the second case this is a one kind of ordinary multiplier where I am getting few minus 1 and plus 1 so I can say uh, I am getting average efficiency and in the third case this is a good multiplier why this is a good multiplier because if you observe here we are getting uh, the original multiplier if you look at here we are getting sequence of ones and whenever we are getting sequence of ones ultimately if I if I look at this pair recorded multiplier bit is zero if I look at this pair recorded multiplier bit is zero and, and, and we know that whenever we multiply by zero bit ultimately the result would be the zero so here I can achieve some kind of efficiency so let us discuss the various features of both multiplication scheme. There are two, two different features. The first one is it can handle both positive as well as negative numbers uniformly. Means uh, both multiplication can work for signed operands. It can work for positive as well as negative multipliers. And it can also achieve the efficiency if number of additions required, in terms of number of additions required, if multiplier has large blocks of ones that we already discussed in the previous slide. I simply give you some exercise task. You can simply go through these two examples. And if you can't understand, then uh, I can I simply request you to please go and see back, uh, go and see the video again and again, surely you can understand. Thanks for watching the video.